Hi, welcome. As you can see, we've got a quite different upload on the channel today than usual. And that is because we had a little challenge going on in our music community. Yes, over on the Woody Piano Shack Discord server, we're all hanging around, often trying some things to collaborate together. And this was one of those ideas and actually turned out something. What happened is basically there are four stages we have to this challenge. Um, we have the free synthesizer called Search here. And my part was to make a little sound set for this thing that's small enough so I could do it in a reasonable amount of time, but also large enough so that all these gentlemen you can see on the screen here did their own little songs with them. Yeah, so I'm very pleased to introduce, therefore, in no particular order, or in the order as they appear on my screen, Mr. Anthony Coates. G'day, how's things? Yeah, we have Mr. Floyd Steinberg. Hi. We have Xavier Radix. Hello, greetings. And, and also, last but not least, Mr. Memra File. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, nice, thank you. So, very happy to have you all joining me today. Uh, we, to get this video started, I should probably just quickly introduce this sound set that we all have been working with. So as I said, it's a little, I've just loaded it here into my version of search. Um, it's about 16 patches in total. So just to, as I said, it's small enough so I could finish it in a couple of days, but also it should give everyone a large enough variety to come up with their own ideas. So the 16 patches organized in four banks, or um, th there's a fifth, but those are just some extras that don't count. So a couple of leads and polies, some bases, some keys, and last but not least, as you'd expect me to, some pads and atmospheric sounds. All right, now I could, of course, just play these sounds to give you a demo, but uh, we can do better than that. Because as I said, all of these four gentlemen have made their own songs with them. So yeah, we can just listen to that and I hope you like it. Okay, so I'll just stop sharing my screen and I suggest Floyd, we can start with the one you did. All right, um, <clears throat> um, I'll just share my screen. Uh, should I explain why I did it first, or should I just uh, play the I song? I think we can f first listen to it, also okay. see the arrangement view, so everyone can get a first glance at how everything was done. And all then right. afterwards, we can just Let's... talk about it, and uh, you can show off all the nooks and crannies you want to show off. All right, let's go.
Thanks. Nice try. Yeah, nice try. <clears throat> uh, well, what can I say? I really like the sound cell, and um, I began um, with uh, the pad sound that you created here. I can show that one. Can can you see that? There we go. Okay, and um, yeah, I'm um, going to quickly well. interrupt just because I have to get out some uh, at some time. Excellent work with it. It's, uh, 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 oh, how to put it? It's just awesome to see. I, I always have a I certain idea of what people might make with the sound, but it's uh, always just blowing me away to just hear what you folks come up with, <laughs> and it's. The, it's brilliant, I love it. I gotta interject. I really like that jazzy note that you've like thrown in there. Yeah, yeah. there's one jazzy note in there. <laughs> uh, basically, it's it's I can I started with the stereo saws, uh, that was the pad sound I liked most. And um, I began with this this uh, I just playing A minor with descending uh, bass notes. Mm -hmm. And uh, at one point it then changes to an uh, always repeating the same chord progression. I think it's a G major. Um, then, uh, well, let's have a look at this G major and uh, E minor, and then F, F major. And um, it's just basically uh, keep cycling through these chords, and then I um, inserted uh, some yeah, uh, musical effects to cover up the fact that nothing is happening, <laughs> really. And uh, yeah, I really like um, this lead sound, which um, is uh, somewhere between the guitar and the synth. And uh, maybe that's an opportunity for you to explain how you did that one. Oh, um, I think that was the Jacob's Ladder patch, am I right? Let me have a look at this. Uh, it's, yeah, it's yeah. Jacob's Ladder. <laughs> Just making sure because uh, I, of course, know how a couple of sounds sound like when they're played the way I intend them to. But there are also, I know a couple of you have played some of the patches in a very creative way that I didn't anticipate. <laughs> um, yeah, all right. So now you just, uh, if you quickly stop sharing your screen, then I can open the patch up on my end and go yeah. into the video details. Hang on. All right, now you can see on my end again. It was this patch here. All right, let's look, take a look at what's going on there. Um, most, the main idea is this is just your, your basic subtractive synthesizer lead sound. Um, I'm using two standard <laughs> waveforms here a soul wave and also a pulse wave. But of course, every time you use a pulse wave and you want some, if you, and you want the sound to be not static and some, to have something going work. on, then um, you modulate the pulse wave. So if, now I'm hoping that's what I did here, otherwise I'm confusing some stuff. Um, ah, yeah, there it is. So LFO2, as you can see, um, just for those who are not aware of how a search works and how it looks like, uh, this little yellow dot here, that is the setting where the sound is set normally. And then the blue dot on the side means that's how far the LFO can push the parameter to one or the other side. Um, and so that's how you can do modulation in, in search. So I just use the second LFO patched it, uh, used it as a triangle wave, which I like most for these pulse with modulation kind of effects because the sine wave ha has this tendency to stay at the one or the other extreme for quite a while and the triangle wave just keeps moving continuously. Yeah, so that's one trick I've used here. The other one I think I used, let me quickly take a look at that. Yeah, I have to tune one, the, so also it's just a little bit from each other, which is just your standard trick to get a more fat sound. Yeah. Further than that, uh, I've I put a little bit of delay on here. Um, don't be tricked into thinking that I have chorus on here. I don't. The, the only reason why 
you see here a chorus effect popping up is that actually I have been using, I've been cheating again, I've been using my blowfile to patch all the sounds because the architecture of search is just incredibly similar to the blowfile and it's so similar that I've used my blowfile as a MIDI controller for, to, for search. Uh, so what I did is I created a little, let me take a look at it here. I created an uh, initialized patch that just mimics the init patch of the blowfelt and that happens to have a chorus in it. Yeah, that's the long story of why some of these patches have some features in them that you don't hear and that you don't need. So if you were, say, to optimize these patches to run them on a Raspberry Pi or something, what I heard, uh, legend has it, some folks here did that, then uh, that's something you can optimize if you want to. Yeah, uh, I think that's, that's yeah. most of the things on this patch. Is there anything yeah. else I want, you want me to show off or otherwise I can just, we can head back to your song. Um, yeah, I think uh, we shouldn't stay too long with that because uh, I already uh, shared that song on my own video um, where I used in the Raspberry Pi indeed uh, to compile search. <laughs> and there were some caveats uh, I had to uh, work around and uh, one of them was to reduce the polyphony of the synth uh, artificially by, yeah, exactly, at that pl place uh, where you can turned on the polyphony to around six or so on, on the Raspberry Pi. <laughs> so you can actually play some chords without um, overpowering the CPU. <laughs> that was quite something. Yeah, so of course I have to use this opportunity to return the shout out to everyone who's interested in getting a look at all the details of Floyd's song and especially how to get these sounds onto a Raspberry Pi. Highly recommended to head over to his channel. Um, if future me is to be relied upon, then you can find the links in, to all the channels in the description box below. Yeah, all right. yeah this is where people say go here or here or here, <laughs> maybe over here. Probably, and, it's, and probably, probably it's down there. Probably because down I, here. Okay. I can't be bothered to to do info cards because YouTube changes that format all, every couple of years, and just to imagine, I have to go back to all the videos and yeah. <laughs> It's, uh, I just write everything in the description. Regular viewers of my channel will know that uh, you click on expand it and it's just poof, huge thing with everything you might want to ask but didn't know yet. <laughs> uh, yeah, all right, then I, I stop sharing my screen. Uh, what's your feeling? Shall we continue discussing Floyd's track or move on to Anthony with your one? Well, I'm easy, it's... Floyd. Whatever uh, you, you like. Said you already had a video, so okay, we can jump to mine. Yeah, I think so too. Okay. Yeah, as you like it, I'm just uh... one participant here in this meeting. Uh... <laughs> okay. Uh, Ideally, yeah. I just get one fifth of the amount of speech, which I'm probably uh... overstretching way too much already. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, here we are. Um, shall I play this first and then I'll, I'll come and make a few comments about it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Same idea okay. as before. Let me do that. Okay. Oh, hang on. If you can just reset that. Uh, um, yeah. one thing I want yes. quickly want to point out because, uh, before anyone uh, complained about that, yes, the drums were the rules of our challenge were you can use all the melodic sounds and everything from the sound set. But because I'm not good at making synthetic drums, the rules were you could bring any drum kit you wanted. So, in case of Floyd, I saw you use the empty power drum kit, uh, which is a free one just for everyone who's interested. That's uh, a very mm. highly recommended and I knew I, I, I heard the sound somewhere when I, when I heard the track but now I'm sure where, where I heard. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry for interrupting. Anthony. No worries. Your so, uh, for we'll, we'll try it again. Okay. <laughs>
Nice. Nice. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> wow, thank you. You're all very kind. Um, I have to say that this this song is really a triumph of technology over musical skill, uh, because I, you know, I did it rather quickly. So I I just loaded up. I I, I have a, a number of tracks that I didn't use hidden here, but I actually yeah. loaded up all the instruments. Um, but what I did, I I I um the I, I I subscribed to the Roland Cloud, and just recently they decided to add some drum loops and other loops as things you could download. And so I thought, oh, well, I'm paying for this. I'll download them all. So I picked a, a drum loop uh, that I liked and put it in. And then I've also, uh, along the way, purchased uh, various MIDI, uh, you know, MIDI sets uh, that mm -hmm. either have chords or maybe, you know, different tunes that are supposed to give you inspiration about what you're doing. So what I did, I just grabbed... Uh, you know, for the uh, the sort of main um, uh, lead here, I just I just started with one of these MIDI things. Uh, oh no, that's not mine. Hold on, it's the right one. This is yeah, this. What's on the so, right now? Yeah, and so now I have to say, somebody said to me that they thought it sounded a lot like. Uh, the, the sound you would get to in, in a video game or something. Yeah, and I can see that. I, I'm not a video game player, but that's that's basically the kind of inspirational MIDI tracks that yeah. I got. I was, a, you know, there, there wasn't like a cool jazz track or a funky pop track that I could find. It was, I don't quite know what they'd been smoking or drinking or, you know, before they recorded them. So, uh, <laughs> but I anyway, I just thought they were interesting. So I, I went with them and then I... I added in a few, you know, simple chords and things myself as we went. Um, I mean, I like this wind noise uh, because yeah. just given the kind of track, I thought it was a nice intro and outro oh, yeah. for what I did. That's and then I saw that you, yes. It's one of the extra so, sounds I made because I, mm. it's very easy to do. And uh, I thought just to give you a, a little bit of sound effects to work with. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. I well, I, nice I thought that was just. I thought it was perfect for mine. And then I saw there's a sound called AB Coats suggestion. Now yeah. AB Coats is my handle over on the Woody Piano Shack Discord server. Uh, oh, yeah. Details somewhere below, I guess. Yeah, and, exactly. Uh, yeah. And so I thought, well, what is this? I don't remember suggesting anything, but the thing is, every so often somebody posts their track, and they say, "Can you suggest how I could improve it?" And the way I tell them to improve it is basically this. More cowbell. <laughs> so, so, yes. So, uh, more, so, uh, so, so, I, so I threw in a couple of bits of cowbell here, uh, yeah, just to uh, uh, break up the percussion. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's um, one thing. I quickly want to make sh sure it's clear. This is not one of the drums. This is actually one of the sounds I had in my sound set. <laughs> So, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, that's right. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the, the only actual drums I have are the, are the drum loop. Yes. Yeah. Everything else is yeah. is in surge. So that's um, the, the only like exception to. The, sorry. Uh, this is so to speak the only exception to, because I said earlier oh, yeah, I didn't do any percussions, I didn't do any drums, but of course I was think while I was, was making the sound set and I didn't have all the patches together, I was always thinking what patch should I do next. And what mm. would all the certain folks want in the sound set? And then, of course, uh, there's a little voice in my head that says, "Well, Anthony would probably want says it needs more cowbell." Mm. <laughs> so yeah, that's I, right. I did my Can best to try and yes. make something oh, that resembles good. a cowbell. Uh, the other thing uh, I mentioned, you you might notice that I laboriously label uh, the chords all the way through my tracks because I. I don't play music by ear at all. I mean, I learned to read music. And so I read music or I read chord charts and things. And so when I'm playing, I actually need to have the chords in front of me or I, you know, I, I wouldn't be able to, you know, do any backing or anything like that at all. So, and if somebody gives me a track, I run it through an app called Decoder that gives me all the chords. And then again, I laboriously put all of the chords through the track 
and then I can, uh, which is what I did with that other one of yours that I did recently, Lanth and I, I had to actually work get, get work out all the chords with Dakota so that I could then go and, and put some backing tracks on the piano thing you did, which is oh, a, yeah. um, a different track altogether. Mm. On that note, for the stuff I post on the Woody Piano Shack Discord, you can most of the time ask me if I can get you the MIDI file because I just record stuff directly into Reaper. Just another benefit of joining the Woody Piano oh, yeah. Discord. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which I guess means becoming a patron, doesn't it? Uh, or is, is that? I, I don't uh, have a patron for my channel. Yes. I, uh, no, no, I met on Woody's. I was trying to think, was the Discord server a, a perk of being a patron of Woody's or? No, it's open, it's open to anyone who can just join oh. there. Oh, fantastic. That's better than a lot of the other Discords I'm on then, because most of the others I'm on are because I'm a, a, a patron. Uh, during the lockdown, I, I've just decided to try and support a lot of people uh, who otherwise aren't uh, able to make earn their normal living. So um, anyway, yeah, I was very lucky that, that my job I can do from home. So yeah. um, and OK, uh, I think that's everything you need to know about mine. <laughs> That's yeah, so that's perhaps the opportunity to say, um, <clears throat> join Woody's Discord server and get more cowbell. <laughs> yes, that's right, yes. Uh, so for those who don't know, we have, actually have two mods of the Discord here, so that's why they're very eager to push the advertising. <laughs> <laughs> trying not to. <laughs> right. Uh, you're not going to see any ads on my uh, channel soon, but this is we're banning that true. <laughs> yes. Okay, then uh, memorial fall, uh, we can move on to your track. All right. Let me share the screen, make sure that I have the stereo setting. All right. Perfect. And go. short little thing oh, shit. Oh, that's a great <laughs> that is a great track too though i mean i'm very uh, impressed yeah and so thank you. you continuing with i'm saying after almost every track it's so nice to see how despite the fact that just 16 sounds is very limiting everyone of you has added his own personal note to it and twisted everything in his own direction it's brilliant i love it i really like uh like the, the the brighter sounds that you've made, like the Norwegian attic and the Jacob's ladder, those were like some of my favorites. I was oh, just yeah. kind of trying to figure out what to do, and I came up with this little melody by uh, assigning fifths to my MIDI controller, 
and um, th that that kind of sharp sound is what set it all off. And I just kind of added that one for a little uh, bit of body. Well, that's and then nice. I kind of doubled it over here, but with like a slightly different like EQ to. Whoa. Yeah, that... Hold up. Uh, Hold on. Let me up my, uh... Yeah. No problem. As we know, <laughs> things were expected to not work all the time. <laughs> okay. Well, especially in demos. If anything works in a demo, that's uh, something's gone wrong. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. There was no, um, so I'm used to a lot of, uh, patches, you know, you, you turn up the mod wheel and it does some crazy vibrato, maybe. Yep. It's like the old synthesizers I'm using, it was a hot thing in the 80s, there was none on those patches, so I had to, like, sit there with a pitch wheel and just kind of go to town, like, oh, after yeah, I recorded that, yeah. the chords, so those like little bins and stuff are all like me just hit hitting the uh the pitch wheel pretty That's hard impressive yeah uh to be clear all the patches ha have almost all the patches respond to the mod wheel but for most of them it's either cut off or some tremolo effect or yeah yeah something uh some of the leads have this vibrato effect i believe the deep space nine has it and the um jacob's letter has it i think i might have used that in the base because i i used the jacob's ladder i i originally just had the impulse because it's a nice fat oh, yeah. thick punchy uh sound and uh a friend of mine that I was showing this to, and he was like, the, the bass needs a little something more, so I threw on... <laughs> I, I thinned out the low end on the, uh, Jacob's Ladder. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, so it's just a little funk line. Oh, yeah. yeah very nice, nice and crunchy. Mm. Also, a very nice example of how the patches can be used in entirely different roles and how, how they're categorized, so... I just thought when I made a patch, like I'd use this as a base, but actually, very often the sounds are usable in the much larger register and for many more roles. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the one I used for bass wasn't one of the ones that you put down for bass either. I just uh, <laughs> repurposed it. To... Oh, let's see what else in here. Oh, this is kind of like. Uh, like a video game-ish melody thing that I just kind of... I was a big fan of, like, Earthworm Gem and stuff, and they had, like, little twinkly melodies like this in some of the songs. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it definitely has the early 90s video games vibe going yeah. on. Yeah. And oh, yeah, it's very, really groovy. That, that I really like that. It uh, reminds me to ask uh, if anyone here knows Aquatic Ambience from the Donkey Kong Country games. I do. Yes. Because, because the track from Floyd is so perfectly close to that. It's, I was, it's, it's I was not, actually going to mention it. Not copying it or anything, but just <laughs> the general feeling for an underwater soundscape. It's Especially nice. that little like arpeggio you threw in there uh, to make some motion. That, that's very like reminiscent of like David Wise. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, and then I just had. Which is actually. The, uh, yeah. the upright patch. <laughs> I noticed it was kind of harpsichord ish, like up high. Oh, yeah. In the lower end, it's. Oh, sorry. Oh, you're good. In, in the lower end, it's thought to uh, it reminded me a little bit of an acoustic bass or some, something you could play yeah. in jazz band or something but yeah it's, again nice to see how differently you folks use these patches in other roles yeah hmm. uh yeah the, the 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 very last thing uh the the drums i had just gotten in elise's d4 right as this uh oh oh yeah i think i remember you writing about that 
Yeah, I was very happy that it showed up right as the yeah. the, mm-hmm. the competition took off because yeah. the drums from that thing are so like punchy. At least this really had their. Uh, they knew what they were doing with drums. Because I didn't really do much to these at all, except for like a little bit of compression. And some of this is just like loops. Like the shaker and stuff. Mm-hmm. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, this really recalls back the early 90s, I think. Uh, there were some songs which had this type of drum groove going on. Yeah, yeah. I'm a big fan of like early 90s like video games. So. I can't escape it, I guess. All That's right. Perfect, um, perfectly fine. Very cool. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. This is really a fantastic track, really. Yeah. Well, thank you. Uh, also, right. just to show off all the folks who think when Lens- when Lenson makes a sound kit, you can just do ambient music with it and nothing else. <laughs> Turns out you can. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. All right. I think I'm done. All right. J- just to remind you, folks, if you have any questions for Memory File, you can ask him. <laughs> this is your chance. <laughs> <laughs> if not, we can move on to Xavier. Thank you. That's fine. good. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let me share my screen here. Is it set? Let me, let me see. All right. So we'll start off with listening to the track, and then I'll explain from there.
All right. Yeah. Very nice. See, that's what I imagine Xavier putting on after a hot day. You know, you go back, turn the lights down <laughs> low. Set the mood. Uh, of all the tracks here, that's the track I would pick. Yeah. I really I love those kind snores, of man. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Yeah, that, that stereo effect. That's brilliant. <clears throat> yeah, just quickly, I don't want, I won't go too much into the drums, of course, but uh, yeah. I did a cool little trick. I I made it. Uh, I I made the drums. Uh, I put it at, I think at normal 120 BPM, and then I just slowed down track to 70 uh, 73 BPM, and it created this. It pitched everything down, and it feels like it's kind of like a slow motion drums. Yeah, it's, and it's basically really cool. reducing the sample rate. So it's yeah adding a little bit also, of more yeah. lo-fi effect because it's still the same yeah. audio file, but it's played slower and so there are less yeah. sam samples per second. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Very nice idea. Can you please right. talk about the chords you used in the bridge? They sound really good there. Yeah, I'm not sure what chords they are. I wish I could tell you, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really... Uh, I had some fun with this, but at first uh, I'll, I'll just go in um, the way I wrote it. Is I started out with this sound. It's the um, I think wait, which was this? Let me see if I can load uh, Surge here. Oh, yeah, the Rucksack EP. That's what I started out with, and that's as you can see, I wrote, uh, uh, that goes through the whole track, and that's how I basically started writing it. So I I was playing around with the sounds, trying to find a good sound to start with, and I. It almost immediately started playing the opening little motif there. And then I changed it around and bridge. Let's see here. It's a bridge. Or here. So I changed it out uh, every once in a while. Yeah. And um, I just built from there, I, and then I started adding uh, the drums to it, and I experimented with that a little bit, but I wanted to focus more on the whole surge uh, thing, of course. And then um, I added some bass to it, which is the yeah, uh, bass sound. I really like this. It's a very, really deep sounding. Hang on, just... My connection seems to be a little bit poor at the moment, so I didn't catch that right. last sentence. Oh, okay. So what patch did you Just use? Just to say uh, that he I'm really guessing... liked the fundamental. Yeah, oh, yeah. As a base yeah I'm using the I, I, fundamental. I'm guessing that's what he used. Yeah. Yeah. The little I'm FMA the fundamental based, based base. Now. Yeah. And I, I really like it because it, it was really like very deep sounding. <laughs> It doesn't get in the way of any uh, other things as well. Yeah. I, I really, I, I really like that from the start. Yeah, has a bit of a and, Fleetwood uh, Mac sound to it almost. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> also, really good melody. And um, yeah, so speaking of the melody, I got the uh, I used this bell patch that you did the Crystal EP. I used it. Oh yeah. I kind of wanted like a kind of like. A, EP bell kind of a sound for the lead for the metal lead line and I put some delay and reverb on there so that goes around through the track and Beautiful. further than that I've got the uh, yeah thank you uh, I've got the synth lead which is uh, where I was trying to find, a, this was funny, because I was going through the sounds, and I was not realizing, I was like, oh, I'm playing, and I was like, oh, I like that sound, and I didn't realize it was the, the same fundamental bass patch, I didn't realize it was a bass patch, so I just started playing lead on it, and it worked. Yeah, so I put some, you know, again, some reverb and delay yeah. on there. One, uh, thing external, I, though, not, uh, one thing I've been meaning to ask yeah. there is, did you actually use a mod wheel on that lead sound for the bass? Yeah, I think I did, that's, yeah. We, we, we sure got, that's a very, very nice, because that patch almost ended up not having a yeah. response to mod wheel. 
Uh, but when I was right, finalizing see. the set and was thinking what might who want, um, I remembered that I have been involved a couple of times in collabs with Floyd. And Floyd likes to have some of these wobble bass sounds in the lower end. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think that in, yeah. Inside, for example, had that. So I thought, okay, I have this very dark sounding bass. I'll just add a treble effect on there and uh, you can dial it in with mod wheel and either have it or not. So yeah. I had this idea in mind, actually it's originally intended for maybe Floyd might enjoy this. And then it ends up used in an entirely different way. And again, yeah. this is the thrill of a ch challenge for me because now seeing how everything turned out so very differently than I had originally imagined and absolutely brilliant. Yeah, really cool. Uh, uh, but I like them both as a bass and, and as a synth lead. Um, yeah. yeah, further than that, there's just some pads that going on. Uh, that are going on. Uh, it starts out with this pad right here, which is uh, no, I'm playing the wrong pad. Excuse me, this one, which I think is yeah, the trans uh, trans oh, yeah. lunar space reset. Oh, yeah. I really like that, especially on the high. No, it's very ghostly. Oh, it's again, I, I tried no, to do a that. little phaser pad sort of thing there. And it's, as, yeah. a, as the title suggests, it's uh, no translunar, the far side of the moon. Uh, I have sworn somebody had, would have used that to do some Pink Floyd style things. <laughs> Nobody did. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. And yeah, uh, so some just... more pads I added. Which are following the keys right here. Just to add some more depth to it. And um, another pad I layered. Which is following the lead. And this pad was the, um, let me see, the symbiosis. Symbiosis, sorry. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. And, um,. Yeah, besides that, I think you had a win preset. I had to print that uh, separately, but there, there might have been... Was there a win preset on the... Oh, yeah, I, I had yeah, the extras, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just uh, Which, uh, I, a little bit of noise. I was like, the... yeah, perfect, so because was that was good. the only thing... So, Which I know is memory file used missing. very nicely as a swoosh. Was that the swoosh that I could hear in yours? Yeah. Yeah, that was very nice. I like the way you used the win for that. Uh, mm. So I just used it as wind which i like to do in my tracks just to yeah. space things out a bit it adds a bit of air a bit to bit your... of ambience yeah mm -hmm. literally yeah. Isn't, that a general thing about, is... isn't that a general thing about adding white noise to your tracks it makes them sound better to a lot of people i've heard that somewhere i'm sure well i do it a lot and it's it's i always find when i make a track that uh when there's something missing there's always like i'm finished with the track i'm done with everything and then i'm like there's something missing there's just something missing and then i just add some you know just a white noise wind kind of a thing with a phaser on top of it very low in the mix and that's it that that was just the thing that was missing it fills all the gaps in the mix and it's yeah it's just a fun little trick but uh yeah i i really love the sound set and i'll probably use some of these presets as well and use surge more often because i've, <laughs> well, I've had this plugin for a long time now and uh yeah I, I actually as well this is just one of these effects where you have there are free vsts out there and there are so many out there that you end up having all and using none of them at the same time yeah so for yeah, me, exactly. the, main, the idea why I started this challenge actually was that I noticed Hang On Search is so damn close to the Blofeld. I, this is a home run everywhere for me. And um, yeah, then I had the main idea for this challenge, which is ha has a secondary goal of allowing me to have a couple of, use of patches I like on Search, because otherwise I probably wouldn't have sat down and actually made one patch after another until I have a very nice usable, yeah, virtual setup. Because as you all know, having hardware synthesizers is nice and all, but sometimes when you just have a laptop with you, 
you still need software synthesizers anyway, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> they don't make for good Absolutely. videos, but uh, except for this one, of course. But <laughs> uh, yeah. It's all about the software, this one. There would be a yeah. whole interior decorating discussion if I was to start to buy physical synths. That would be quite a struggle. <laughs> I, uh, I suppose it's, it, it really depends on what kind of channel you run and what the viewers expect. Right. For me, it's mostly I set up the camera so it shows down on my setup. And then I just, yeah. I like this concept of you see what you hear. And then the gear you see in the video is the gear you hear for the most part. And so for me, at least, I could, of course, uh, use virtual synthesizers, but then the gear you see in the video has, in, in the setup has nothing to do with what you're actually hearing, except for my fingers. Yeah, yeah I'm, I think there's always an audience uh, which uh, has come to your channel and they expect you to continue in your style. Yeah, so of course. Yes. Diverging from that, um, people... All have really disappointed now because what is this talk show on the... Syn no. <laughs> <laughs> Inexcusable. <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> wow. You might have to start the Length and After Dark channel or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, so, so far, I, I upload few enough stuff that if there's one thing people don't like, they can just ignore it. It's not like I punch out dozens of these things per week. So, yeah, I'm hoping everyone's fine with that. Very cool. Nice. But back to our uh, back to our original topic. Uh, right. Very nice to see what, what all of you did there. Yeah. Well, it was the great set the sounds. I couldn't myself use them all. It was just uh, uh, too much. So I just, uh, some of you, I think uh, you seem to use most of them there, Xavier, but uh, I know I struggled to use yeah, them. Yeah, I could have made a lot of some other tracks with the other sounds. and mm -hmm. uh, Because they're really inspiring sounds, I mm -hmm. think. Mm -hmm. and I, I very much very like them. Nice. Yeah, normally uh, when when we start challenges like this, uh, most of them tend to end nowhere, and some maybe someone <laughs> does something, but a challenge which has spawned the most results mm. uh, in a long yeah. time. Mm. Actually, though, I think yeah, I think lanthan has been quite inspirational recently with uh, the various collaborations he's kicked off. I've, I've oh, yeah. been very impressed. <laughs> by I'm very grateful mm. that he does that, and mm. he keeps the <laughs> Keeps well, the oh, you're community welcome. happy and busy. Mm. And... That is, of course, over yeah, on the Woody really Piano great. Shack Discord <laughs> server, if we didn't yeah. mention that at any point. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we probably <laughs> didn't forget that totally. <laughs> 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 but, but yeah, it's uh, one of these cases where most of them just run dry at some point. You you, you all know this phenomenon. You, you have an idea, you write it, and maybe one or two people will think, yeah, it's nice. And then somebody else posts his idea and then it just gets lost because nobody reads the dozens of messengers that just appeared overnight in the channel mm. yeah so it's yeah. and it's hard there there are sometimes i have to let a thing go past because the rest of my life is too busy and then uh, i'm just lucky that uh, actually because i had i had my pc die uh, only a couple of months ago so i had to buy a new one and then load all the music software back on it for work oh, yeah. trying to remember luckily I, in Microsoft OneNote, I keep all the license emails so I can go back and uh, remember what they were and what the license numbers were. But I had to reinstall everything. Um, everything I could, but there's a couple of the Perhaps, plugin yeah. uh, boutique plugins. There's some Windows 10 issues. So there's about a handful that I couldn't reinstall. But anyway, there was still a lot of work to reinstall mm. everything. Uh, and then luckily I got that done, yeah. I think, just before you put this out. Oh, yeah. So uh, I was ready again. But it reminds me that I can use this opportunity to direct the viewers into where else they can hear us collaborating together. Because uh, other than the Woody uh, Piano Shack Discord, yeah, yeah, that's a lazy way. Because but uh, <laughs> 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 I think you if you want to hear the project that actually turned out somewhere, um, I think there's the unknown sessions on my channel actually, which have, mm. which is the very first collab we ever did together. That was, yeah. I think it's um, inspired by me making a video and then Floyd saying this needs a, a guitar solo over it, and then I wrote Xavier, do you want to make a guitar solo over that? And then from there on, it just um, got airborne. Yeah, um, yeah that was fun. 
Yeah, and, and then we had, we had another element, which is not on my channel, but you can hear some of it on my Bandcamp page, because of course, when you're just goofing around, you don't bother setting up a camera, and in the end, you have something that's nice, but it's audio only. Uh, so you can head on to my Bandcamp page. There's an album known as uh, The Bonus Material, and somewhere in there, you'll find a couple of audio files that feature some of the folks you can see in the video today. Yeah. I think did I forget Very anything? Cool. I think that's, that's um, no, most think. of the stuff we publish together and hopefully more to come in the future. Mm. Oh, yes. Okay. Absolutely. Mm, mm, mm. This is a lot of fun. Yeah, if you guys are yeah. tired of me showing up in the collab channel and saying, guys, I have this idea. You want to work for me? <laughs> <laughs> and obviously if you want to see more of these videos what you need to do is click and subscribe and comment uh, uh, oh, oh yes uh, yeah or send money but basically click subscribe comment bell icon bell icon that's another one isn't it yeah, yeah that's I'm, important. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping that the folks know how youtube works after uh, this couple of years i'm running my channel <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can show you in my uh, YouTube stats um, that every time you say that, um, actually more people do subscribe to your channel. So, <laughs> oh wow, okay, that makes sense to say that. <laughs> oh, yeah. There you go. All right. Apart from yeah. that, I, th I think that's mostly a wrap. Yeah. Calling Fantastic. people. Fantastic. Telling people to like and subscribe. Oh, it's been a pleasure, and... everybody. Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Mm. Very. Uh, I'm very pleased to have you all on the show today. Very nice to have you. Thanks for having me. You. You're welcome. Mm. Well, thank you for giving us such fun, Lantham, because really you've uh, you've been quite inspirational over on the Woody Piano Shack Discord <laughs> server, and uh, we're all very grateful for that. You should really edit this video every time someone says Woody Piano Shack Discord well, server. Sorry. Have you? Been, has everyone not realized this is a drinking game? If you didn't. If you weren't having a drink every time we said that, you weren't watching this video properly. I'm fully <laughs> expecting you folks to go in the call up channel when we're done recording and saying, folks, we've had a change of plans. <laughs> it's a drinking game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Very nice. So, with that, again, thank you all for being here and see you later. <laughs>